Hello, my loves. Welcome to Mana Hoops' Tarot. I am Amira. This is going to be a general message for Leo, the Leo Collective. So wherever you have Leo in your chart, it may resonate for you fully, partially, or perhaps not at all, which that's okay. Don't fret. Okay. Uh, it happens. That's just the way that it goes. Okay. Check your other placements. Check your other signs. Check your other channels. Check within, first and foremost, okay? Um, and if you want some assistance in looking at a particular event or, or area of life, you can reach out to me for a personal reading. My email's in the description box, as well as my Instagram. If you'd like to connect with me over there, I post on Instagram every day. Every day, every day. Um, yeah, you guys, I was thinking about doing a giveaway and doing a free personal for a subscriber, uh, but I'm not sure. Let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. Just so I can set it up, get it right. All right. General energy check. Leo, please. Wow, as soon as I said that, I felt immediately drained. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Immediately. We have for Leo. Clear messages, please. Sir. What do they need from you? What do you need from them? Nine of Cups coming out, which is a part of being content emotionally in the space that you're in, spending time with friends, family being in a space that you asked for. Okay, here we go. Current situation, two of swords. <laughs> mm. I feel like this person has all the answers. Why won't they say anything? Um, fear of scrutiny, okay. Um, I feel there's there's an energy here of yeah scrutiny or or like feeling like you'll be judged for what you have to say or how you'll say it or just saying anything at all. But it feels if it also feels like um, there's something here about appearance. Okay, that's weird. All right, what's contributing to this? Your advice. And the outcome. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Yeah, cause there's some, there's an element here of, of feeling like you should do something or look a certain way or do something a certain way, say something a certain way, based on like society standards or perhaps a family member, a friend, a significant other. Um, but it's just like this pressure of of feel like you have to live up to someone's standards or something like that. Okay, what's contributing to this? The moon, why does this 10 of wands? All right, y'all, every reading so far, this 10 of wands is coming out. Oh gosh, you know, and it's right next to the moon card. We have the full moon coming up here.
Um, this is really heavy. And and what did I say at the beginning? I just someone feeling super drained. So yeah, here and here's the ten of wands. I don't know if you're emotionally drained, um, spiritually drained, like you know, not not really having hope in a situation. What is this? It doesn't even feel like. I mean, not to. Um, um, invalidate the feelings here but I'm just I just want to put it into perspective that I don't think this is a huge thing it feels tiny but huge inside of you if that makes any sense at all right okay I want these underneath all right, the advice, the world card, the hermit, <laughs> and the temperance. Okay, right off the bat. Um, your advice here is, is to, first of all, I feel like you need to balance out um, the time that you, you're spending somewhere, okay? Again, like I was saying with this two of swords, there's some kind of pressure here. I don't know if it's the, the people that you're spending your time with or you're putting that pressure on yourself, but it feels like you need to kind of moderate um, the time that you spend with other people and the time that you're spending alone, introspective, and, and, and using that inner knowing, that inner guidance. We could have someone here who has received poor advice, okay, as well, especially with the Hermit card falling right underneath this Two of Swords. The Hermit card is like a, um, gosh, like a spiritual advisor and with the Hierophant there at the bottom of the deck over there. Like I said, we could have someone who, who is being shushed or feels like that anyway. What's the outcome? Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Knight of Cups. And the Lovers. Well, you have a decision to make. <laughs> Yeah, and I guess that's why um, I was compelled to say that the the ratio here is not um, even. And what I mean when I say that is what's going on outside of you is not um, the re your reaction is not equal to that. Right, and, that, and and a part of your advice here is to kind of get clear on I I don't know why, um, why you feel that way. Perhaps this is something more you know deeper within you that you need to sort of assess. Or um, again, the, the 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 people that you're hanging around, the friends, the family, the coworkers, even that you're hanging around who are feeding into your spirit. Um, because this temperance card and, 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 and you know, <laughs> the temperance card is calling for you to, to maintain that balance of emotion of, of, of your temper, okay, and of your, um, insights in general. And to call on the wisdom of spirit, really, to guide you in this situation, whatever this is. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. For some reason, this Nine of Pentacles gave me deja vu. And, and maybe it was because that Nine of Cups came out um, that we were talking about initially when we first started shuffling. Um, 
but it's like something's not enough here. And I mean, I, and I, I, I always say that about the nines. I will continue to say that, you know, the nine, the number nine is about almost being there, just like the hermit card, right? Almost being to that point where things can kind of change. Okay. From the hermit, we get to the wheel of fortune where we find this, this happenstance, this serendipity, this, this chance of, of luck that we feel fate has kind of intervened and changed things around. I feel like I'm connecting with someone who is super dramatic. I'm just, I'm just saying that doesn't have to be in a negative way, but that's just, I just want to put that out there. I just want to put that out there, which, you know, is not out of character for a Leo. I'm a Leo rising. I know what it feels like. And I know also what it feels like for someone else to see that in you, if you get what I'm saying. And I, and I do feel like someone here doesn't quite feel validated. Interesting message. Let's clarify. Yeah, you need, but you need to, you need to grab hold of that, that balance, that, that, um, I don't know, that balance within, that emotional balance, that spiritual balance, psychological balance within in order to move forward in this situation. Right now you're at a standstill because the emotions are heightened, because you feel, it's like a, um, a, a, a victim mentality, I'll be honest. And as I was just saying in the cancer reading, if this is triggering you, it's probably because the message is for you. Or, I mean, if you just don't like it, you can, you know, not watch it. What am I clarifying? Tell me more about the temperance card, because that's kind of standing out to me. Okay, we have the Hierophant, the Tower, and the Knight of Wands. Um, but this is what I'm saying, right? You, you, there, there's a... Um, irrationality. Is that a word? It is today. Um, here. <laughs> right? And I feel like a lot of it, again, has to do with some kind of pressure. The pressure that you're feeling from society as a whole, the pressure that you're feeling at work, the pressure that you feel within a connection, the pressure that you feel within a relationship, within a marriage, or just from within. There's this sense of pressure to, to do something, and I feel like it's kind of making you erratic. It's getting you in this mindset of like me against the world. And that's, you know, <laughs> exactly what's going on here. But your advice is to balance that out. Hmm. All right, clarify the lover's card and the outcome. The Pentacles. What else? Five of Swords. Don't do something irrational. Okay. Yeah, strength card. Don't do something irrational here is what is what I'm wanting to say, Leo. Um, you know. At your core, you guys are a fire sign. You also have this Pisces full moon um, built up in all of that right now. And so, okay. 
um, just be mindful of the actions that you take, the decisions that you make, and, and that you're not secluding yourself so much or spending so much time with people who are not healthy for you. Like, that needs to be balanced. That is, like, the, the heaviest message here. Um, your dreams need a pl practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Mm -hmm. They sure do. And surrender to the divine full moon in general. So like I said, this full moon is really affecting you guys. I don't know if you have some Pisces placements. Um, perhaps you do. Um, or you, you know, however that energy is affecting you. I feel like it's really heavy right now for you so please just be mindful okay be introspective um yeah okay leo this is the message i have for you i really hope that it helps as you move forward and make decisions in your life and space please don't forget to like this video share the love and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time for the next one bye